Hey, what is up everybody? I'm Star Lord, and wow, one full year of Fallout 4. That is how long it has been. Fallout 4 came out exactly November 10th, 2015. It was actually announced that year too at E3, only a couple of months before the actual release. And when I saw that trailer, I went batshit crazy. I was absolutely amazed. I didn't expect they were going to be releasing it that year because I was actually just a casual Fallout gamer. I played Fallout 3 and I played Fallout New Vegas. I played Oblivion and I played Skyrim. I know they're co two completely different franchises, but I actually did play Bethesda games for all of those wondering because I always get that question like, did you even play Fallout 3? Did you play New Vegas? Yeah, I did, but I was very, very casual. Now, I honestly believe that I would still be a casual Fallout gamer if it wasn't for the amazing opportunity that Fallout 4 and Bethesda provided me. And that was to have a full-time career on YouTube, which is just absolutely amazing. I quit my job a couple of months before Fallout 4 came out. Then when it was actually released, about about a week or two later, I said, you know what, fuck this shit, I'm going to start YouTube. I'm gonna make money, I'm gonna make this work for me and my family, and I'm gonna do something that I love and turn it into a career, but also a full-time hobby. And that is exactly what I did because of Fallout 4 and Bethesda. And for that, I cannot thank the franchise enough, and I cannot thank Bethesda enough for that. So in a full year, you know, we've had a lot of ups and downs with this game. I can honestly say, I really, really think that Fallout 4 has been a great game. It really has, and I do focus on the cons quite a lot. You know, obviously, there is PlayStation 4 mods, and then there was lack of DLC, uh, which actually focused on story mode, and there was plot holes in the actual game. That was really annoying. But besides from that, I do think that Fallout 4 was a great, great game and that it has evolved that franchise. I feel like it brought in a lot of new players and made them dedicated fans of that franchise. And for that, that's absolutely amazing. I think Bethesda have done a great job to do just that. Now, a couple of months ago, a lot of people were asking after Nuka Will came out, like, what is your complete review? of the game and honestly I didn't want to give it and that was because I was still holding a grudge on both Bethesda and the game and that was mainly down to PlayStation 4 mods I mean at the time I wasn't a PlayStation 4 uh, console owner so really it was kind of confusing to a lot of you guys exactly why I wanted PlayStation 4 mods so much and I guess that is just down to determination you know if I see some people don't have something and some people do have something I don't like it I honestly wish that everybody would have that same couple of like same kind of thing I don't know if that makes sense to you I, I don't know that, that it's kind of confusing me at this point, I guess. This is not scripted at all, guys. As you can tell, this is just me talking about the game in general. So, anyway, back to the whole subject of the review. A lot of people was asking me, and I didn't want to give it, because I was still holding a grudge at Bethesda, and I thought that would be very unfair about the game. And now that a year has passed, Skyrim Special Edition has came out, and now a lot of other games have came out, and I've been able to actually focus on them, rather than Fallout 4, I think now I can give a quick summary about how I feel about Fallout 4. Starting off with the biggest thing I think was amazing about Fallout 4, and that was the settlement building mode. I honestly think that is the best thing that happened to that game. It brought a lot of people together. I mean, one person in particular is No Respawns. I mean, I fucking love watching him build shit. It's just so therapeutic, and listening to him do it, I don't know, it's, it's kind of crazy. I don't know why I like seeing things getting built, but it's, it's so nice. And the fact that I can actually go into the game and do it myself was very, very appealing. It's like my kind of love for roller coaster games, you know, like Roller Coaster Tycoon or Planet Coaster or something like that. I love those type of games because I can basically be the god of that game. I can build something in that game space. And I think that if they didn't do that with the next Elder Scrolls game or the next Fallout game, it would be a huge mistake. Now, although I did love the settlement building mode, there was one addition to that that I did fucking hate, and that was the 
DLC. That was the actual, you know, workshop DLCs. They fucking annoyed me so much. They were actually one of the things that made me hate the game because obviously Bethesda saw this opportunity to do kind of a quick DLC that would get them a lot of money. And that was to bring in items from the game that were not available in the base game. Basically, you know, oh, here's a new bed that you can place down. Here's a new piece of furniture that you can place down. I mean, you've seen it in the game before, but you have to download this DLC to actually place it down now. And that is one thing that really, really pissed me off. And besides from there actually being, you know, the Wasteland Workshop in which you could actually capture creatures, I thought that was a brilliant idea, but it was very much implemented the wrong way. I really think they fucked up big time with those DLCs. Now, of course, there was the other DLCs that kind of focused on story, and they were not too bad. They were okay, I guess. I'm not going to say they were perfect. They wasn't. I think the creatures that were brought in because of them were perfect, but the DLC in general was not. I would have loved to have seen something to do with a memory den, or maybe kind of an additional DLC to do with the faction that you chose, something like that would have been absolutely great, but unfortunately they missed that out, and yeah, it kind of didn't make me feel like these DLCs were worth it at the uh, base price of the actual season pass. I think that the price of that season pass was a total ripoff. I was very happy to have gotten that DLC pass when it was very cheap, and I'm very sorry to all of you guys who actually had to pay the full price for something, so... I guess, half asked. I guess, you could say. I don't know. Moving on to the story of the actual game, I did not at all feel sorry for Nick, or Norma, I guess. The, the, the guy that you play, or the girl that you play, I didn't feel sorry for them. There was not enough of an emotional kind of connection between me and those in the game. There really wasn't. I honestly didn't give a crap about them. And I did play the DLCs, um, and I did play the base game, and neither of them actually made me feel an emotional connection to this character. So, in essence, you know, if, you, if there's no emotion to the actual story of the game, then I really, really don't care too much about the story of the game. You know, there needs to be emotions, there needs to be action, there needs to be all of these different kind of things coming together to make you give a shit about the story. But, that being said, the story was not that bad. It was actually a very good story. There was just not an emotional connection to these characters. You know, you didn't really feel sorry that his wife died at the start of the game. You didn't feel sorry that his son got taken. Personally, anyway, that was just my personal feelings towards it. And we have the gameplay mechanics. The gameplay mechanics compared to Fallout 3 were absolutely amazing. I honestly feel like the next Fallout game shouldn't really change too much compared to Fallout 4. Um, I loved it. I went back and played Fallout 3 around about a month or two after the Nuka World release and I could immediately see the changes and I was like, holy shit, Fallout 4 is like 10 times better gameplay mechanically wise. Uh, so I honestly feel I got it right there. Um, there was, as always, pros and cons to this game. Um, but anyway guys, I know this wasn't really a planned video, I didn't have a script or anything like that, and I'm kind of just talking off my own thoughts because, you know, I say what's on my mind, and I would like you guys to have my exact thoughts about this game. And that is my one year kind of review of Fallout 4. I didn't mind it. It wasn't the best game they've ever created, and, you know, it certainly won't be the worst, but they have to improve on the next game. Other than the settlement building mode and the gameplay mechanics, I do think all of the other issues that I mentioned do need a bit of an improvement in the next game. But since it's been one full year since the release of Fallout 4, tell me guys, do you still play the game? For me personally, I really do kind of hate it when I have to boot up the game again. That is maybe because I've had to focus on it for the full year. And now I'm just happy to play some Modern Warfare Remastered or, you know, Dishonored 2 when it comes out. All that kind of shit. Uh, so it does actually kind of give me a huge sigh to boot up the game just to get some gameplay for a video. Uh, but tell me, do you still play the game? What did you think about the actual game itself? Did you enjoy it? Did you hate it? Let me know in the comment section below. And as always, I hope you have an amazing day 
Until next time, I've been Star Lord. I'll see ya.